peeps! I am here in Baltimore, Maryland, and I am making a sudden last minute stop right here outside of the gates of where the Baltimore Orioles play to visit a very cool entertainment museum, Jeppy's Entertainment Museum. They have some cool exhibits that I want to check out, and I just happen to be about five minutes away, so let's head on in. Here's one of the reasons I came, The Dark Knight Through the Decades, which features art by some of my favorite artists, including art by Jay Lee, who's the artist who did this poster. The exhibit says through October 1st, I'm hopeful that it's still going. Here's the information on Jeppy's Entertainment Museum. Um, it is open 10 to 6, Tuesday through Sunday, closed Mondays, closed on some holidays. Admission 10 bucks for adults, definitely worth it. I've been here before and I am excited to be here again. It looks like later this month they're going to be featuring a Stranger Things Halloween Comic Fest on October 28th, 2017. For more information, here is the address and the website, www.jeppiesmuseum.com. Now, it is located on the second floor of this building, and even the stairwell has all sorts of cool stuff to look at. Superman bread! How cool is that? I love all the classic artwork and things that they show on the wall. Scrooge McDuck up there, one of my favorites. Shazam. All sorts of cool stuff. And right up there is the entrance. I keep stopping at stuff because it's all the stuff that I love, including Dick Tracy. Look who greets you as soon as you walk in. Boba Fett. And this is the lobby. Half price Thursday, $5 to tour the museum. Love it. So they give you a map when you walk in. Uh, start with the story in four colors. So you enter through here. And I think you're supposed to start here and just kind of work your way around the museum. But this is the main hallway with all this amazing artwork on the walls. Cool Superman that we'll get to here in a minute. Look at that Captain Midnight radio serial poster. Wow. Oh, and look who it is, Batman. So even though there's a heavy emphasis on comic books, this is really more of a pop culture museum. So in addition to Superman, you're also going to get wonderful classic Disney artwork like this Bambi poster. And across from it, Rice Krispies. So this is the first stop on the tour. A story in four colors, early years of comic books. And as you can see, I do not believe these are originals. I believe these are <laughs> reproductions of some classic comic books like Action Comics, All-American Comics, The First Appearance of Green Lantern, Detective Comics, Submariner, a couple of other great ones. Now, there's a mix of classic artwork. You got Popeye right there, as well as classic comic books in this first room. front, I do believe these are actual comic books. You can see they have protective covers on them and I just touched that glass. Someone's going to need to clean my fingerprints. Sorry about that. But cool old comic books. This one says December 1938. Wow. And how about this Batman Adventures? I have this comic but it is not signed by writer Dan Slott who currently writes for um, Amazing Spider-Man from Marvel Comics. Over here you've got Batman number one from the New 52, written by artist, or excuse me, writer, signed by writer Scott Snyder. Here's another reason I came here. Artist J.G. Jones, who's done work with Mark Wade on Strange Fruit, as well as work on Before Watchmen and a ton of other stuff like Final Crisis from DC Comics. They have a bunch of his original art here. I'll look at this from The Comedian, if you watch, if you are familiar with Watchmen. Written by Brian Azzarello, here's some original art by the artist J.G. Jones. I don't know if this
this is real or not, but there's an incredible Hulk number one here. That's awesome. Hey, it's Walt Disney. That poster for the movie Spawn is signed by Spawn creator Todd McFarlane. In the When Heroes Unite room, you've got a ton of classic Disney memorabilia. Original Walt Disney Comics. You've got that Mickey Mouse book up there. Walt Disney's Pinocchio hankies. Look at that lamp. And this other cool stuff down here from Pinocchio. Classic Mickey Mouse down there pocket watch Donald Duck's party game for young folks <laughs> how cool is that the three caballeros some amazing stuff that you're not gonna see anywhere else as a Superman fan, you guys know I love this display. Classic Superman statue. He looks kind of creepy with the dead eyes there. Um, but you've also got like candy and surprise, old Superman stuff. I don't even know what half of this stuff is, but it's awesome. Over in the middle, you've got some other classic Disney stuff that you may not have even known existed. Look at these Mickey Mouse sculptures here. A tea set down here. Pop-up books. Or I guess an ad for a pop-up book. Big little books. <laughs> a box for Mickey Mouse undies. And up here, you've got classic Seven Dwarves. room they've got a Three Stooges exhibit showing a bunch of cool Three Stooges memorabilia, classic episodes, and a bunch of a bunch of Three Stooges memorabilia. Wow. It's howdy duty time. Hey. and right now they're featuring Batman, The Dark Knight Through the Ages, and wow, just wow, tons and tons of cool Batman stuff, different interpretations from throughout his lifetime, signed stuff by Adam West here, and Yvonne Craig, who played Batgirl, original artwork everywhere, you've got a 1989 Batman thing hanging from the ceiling there, held by a, an animated Batman guy, more original artwork. This is from artist Kelly Jones right here, one of my favorite Batman artists, as well as a statue that's uh, an interpretation of that piece. And guys, 
I know you're probably not as big of geeks as I am, but they're playing the soundtrack to Batman Mask of the Phantasm in here. I am in heaven right now. Look, Alex Ross artwork, Darwin Cook. Up here you've got Rob Guillory, Amanda Connor. Ugh, love all of it. A signed photo by Burt Ward. Some more Batgirl signed stuff back there. More Adam West autographs. There's that J. Lee poster that I showed you up front leading into the museum. Original art by artist Matt Wagner, one of my favorite Batman artists. You've got this piece by Bob Kane, the original, one of the original creators of Batman with Bill Finger. They've got the Batman Return standee from McDonald's when they were giving out the different cups. They had six cups and they had the cups in there. Oh my gosh, I wanted to take that home know who John Cassidy is and here's this small piece of John Cassidy Batman art and above it Mike Grell if you've ever heard of Green Arrow one of the reasons Green Arrow has such longevity as a character is because of writer artist Mike Grell You're going to find a ton of sci-fi things as well as classic Happy Meal stuff. Ronald McDonald, um, Advanced D&D, &D. ah, so cool. Kiss, New Kids on the Block. <laughs> Up here you've got the cone heads, signed photo of Shaft, Michael Jackson record player. Some classic Star Wars stuff here. Star Wars van set with space age Star Wars graphics. Some more cool Star Wars stuff. Slave One, Boba Fett's spaceship. Ewoks animated series toys and the Hoth base from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. If you grew up in the 80s or 90s, you're gonna see so much stuff that you remember from your childhood. It is just a place that you can spend hours reminiscing and looking at all the cool things that you grew up with, like Transformers, Dune, <laughs> Freddy Krueger. Check this out. It's a certificate of authenticity for a prototype Boba Fett. Wow. Wow. And over here, you've got a graded, uh, carded Boba Fett action figure from Star Wars droids. Those are pretty rare. Some more cool Star Wars stuff, which is actually here as an exhibit. The Star Wars collection of, of Russell Branton. So these are privately owned in here for you to see some of the stuff is a little more classic some of it's not as classic that's not an old one but it's cool looking nonetheless graded comic books 9.6 just some really great stuff that you're not going to see in other places or at least not frequently i gotta tell you there is far too little heat man in this room but still you've got buck rogers masters of the universe and strong women characters like Charlie's Angels, you've got Miss Piggy there, um, Star Trek up there, Supergirl, just a cool display. If you're a Star Trek fan, look at this cool classic Star Trek stuff here from the original series, including that Star Trek game, and I guess that's a frisbee? I don't remember that gun from the original series. In addition to the special edition Batman uh, exhibit that's traveling, you also have this stuff that's here all the time. Some classic Batman Americana from the 1960s series. This awesome Batman statue here. Huh, do you think? Whoa, look at 
look at that, it does. Very cool. There's no button in it to open up a secret compartment though. And over here you've got the bat phone. at the museum. It has one of the best gift shops in any museum ever. Comic books, statues, toys, tons of cool stuff. It's like there's more to look at. It's almost a museum in and of itself. In fact, this stuff is part of the exhibit. More modern stuff, 1990s to present. But amongst it, you'll also have stuff to buy. Cool stuff, like Guardians of the Galaxy Tiki mugs. All right, folks, well, that does it for us here at Jeffy's Entertainment Museum. Make sure to check them out. I'm going to put the link right here. Check them out. Get the hours. Definitely come visit. It is totally worth the cost of admission. Had a great time looking at all the cool stuff. And on the website, you'll be able to see what new exhibits are traveling through. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time.